Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our third My Story Matters. Tonight we are featuring none other than the Dr. Nancy Bryan. I know all of you probably are very familiar with her and have seen her um, likely uh, because of our scientific advisory board in Life Vantage. But um, oh, Nancy and I met seven and a half years ago in Cancun on a um, incentive trip. Mm -hmm. And we hit it off and have been close friends ever since. In fact, um, anytime there's ever been a life and event, Nancy and I always gravitate towards each other. Our teams know each other. Um, and it's just been one incredible experience. I do want to give her a proper introduction because I do feel like this is very, very relevant. Um, having someone of her caliber in Life Vantage speaks volumes to um, our company, our products, our com our entire environment. Um, but, um, no. Go ahead and sorry, new people that are coming on. Um, Dr. Nancy Bryan is a breast cancer and melanoma survivor. And she was also diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of 23. So her doctors uh, had said she would be in a wheelchair. And I, I'm excited for her to share her story tonight because it is unbelievable. Nancy, I accidentally muted you just so you know. I'm trying to mute everybody coming on. Um, Dr. Nancy is a doctor of pharmacology. She is a PharmD from Ferris State and University, a bachelor's in molecular biochemistry. She's a certified diabetic educator, a certified geriatric pharmacist, a certified human and veterinary pharmacist and formulator, and she's also an esteemed member of the Life Vantage. Uh, scientific advisory board. Um, she can explain to you how long she's been on that board and the role she plays, but it's a big one and a very important one. And she's a very strong asset to our company. Um, I absolutely love your story and I'm excited for you to share it with everybody on here tonight um, and the masses that are going to tune in to the, the recording as well. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Nancy, um, to, to share with us the incredible transformation on all levels since you've joined Life Vantage. Oh, thank you, Kim, so much. And um, A, I, I can't even understand when I look back in my life, all the technology that happens today. <laughs> when you said I was muted, I'm like, oh no, now I have to find out the mute button. <laughs> and so I, I, I just want you all to know that um, I am so forever grateful to meet this beautiful lady. When we met, we were instantaneously drawn to each other for many reasons. I've had the pleasure of uh, going up to see her in her hometown. We've done some meetings. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget, and oh my gosh, I can't start crying already. Um, but one of the first things that happened is um, I talked to my husband who talked to me into driving our car all the way across the country to Michigan. I would never do that before, but he talked me into it. But the deal was I would only do it if on the way back, we were going to stop by Kim's house and I was going to be able to do a meeting. Okay. I will tell you, this was not something that he was excited about. Um, but I am so forever grateful for that time frame because we got to spend some awesome time with, um, with Kim and her family and uh, a chance to see where she lives and meet all the beautiful people. And when I told him I was going up there to do a meeting, <laughs> Kim, how many people do you think were there? Uh, we had about 250 people <laughs> in the room. He was like, what? When did you learn this? <laughs> he had no idea. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm crying in a sense, because Kim knows this, and it's kind of the end of my story at the beginning, but um, it wasn't much after that that I lost my husband, and um, we had gone on that trip, and, and then after that trip, he had had surgery, and, um, you know, it, it, I'm so blessed that I had him the time I had, and I had what everybody on the planet wishes they had, so, but that story, and, and forever, Kim will be so special to me from that trip. 
and and just seeing my husband's face when he walked in that room it was pretty priceless uh, so let's get right to it so my story oh my gosh you know I, I grew up this wild kid that drove my parents crazy I had gut problems from the time I was born um some of my crazy probably comes a little bit from my mom. I don't know if she's on here tonight. Sorry, mom. <laughs> um, but uh, I had such stomach problems that the doctor told her I was not, not going to make it um, unless she gave me goat's milk. So my mom went and bought a goat. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that today? Anyway, she went and bought a goat. And um, because of that, I, I, growing up, always had all kinds of issues in terms of stomach problems before people knew exactly what all that meant. It was a long time ago, but it had a profound effect on me. And by the time I got through college and figured out that I wanted to make a big difference for people because of how many people made a difference for me growing up with all kinds of problems, um, I... I uh, was shocked when I started having all kinds of physical ailments because I, at that point, had started exercising, was eating right, doing everything possible. And I actually felt pretty good all through college. But as soon as stress started again, my first job working for a pharmaceutical company, the first female for a big company, lots of pressure, lots of stress, I started getting sick again. And then that's when I found out I had rheumatoid arthritis. And um, the doctors had told me that it was not going to be good, that I was going to be on a lot of medications. And, and so again, I continued to work. I was already a pharmacist at this point, but I started really researching nutrients. Um, and so through several of those nutrients, I actually did pretty well for, for a number of years. I had to get shots for the rheumatoid arthritis um, because I was just in such pain all the time. I had had, uh, three soldier, shoulder surgeries, I had knee surgeries, um, but continued to plug along. Um, and then the worst happened, and this is probably from some of the medications I was on, I don't know why, but then um, I had breast cancer, I developed breast cancer, and at the time I was diagnosed, all of my friends were shocked because I was the one that had exercised like crazy, was taking all the right foods, doing everything right. And yet that gene still expressed, okay? And I loved hearing Sandy's story last week. If you haven't heard it, please make sure you listen in on it. I'm shocked how much our stories uh, follow each other because at the time I really didn't have much options. Those of you that are on here that have known me for a while know that my sister passed away with leukemia um, at a very early age, she was in her early twenties and the gene that she had is what they found out that I had as well. And so when I first found out I had breast cancer, it did not give me a lot of hope. So I had to do everything. I had to, I had to do chemo. I didn't want to do chemo. Chemo made me very ill. I couldn't walk. Um, I was just not in a great place. And I remember just the thing that upset me the most was watching how upset my husband was because he couldn't do anything. And I think that that part was when I really started looking. And this is an important part of this story for all of you that are listening tonight, um, understanding life advantage. I had a dear friend who was a surfer. In fact, I just got back from Hawaii and spent some time with another couple of our friends that he knew there and also had a chance to go visit some of the places he had taken my husband and I, also the place where he taught my kids to surf. And when I was going through all of these things, he had developed a melanoma and the melanoma was in a really bad place and his doctor had not given him much hope. And so he had seen a study out of LSU regarding this little yellow pill, this protandum NRF2 and what it was doing when they tested it on mice um, with melanomas. And so when he sent it to me, you have to understand I was rolling my eyes and not paying a lot of attention, but I thought, you know what? I don't, I, I don't have a lot of choice. I'm in a wheelchair, I'm miserable. Then I got diagnosed with a melanoma too. And they had to remove four inches by two inches by two inches deep off my waist. So at this point in time, I was on so many different nutrients but none of them were enough. 
And so I didn't think that this would make such a big impact for me, but I will never forget this because when I got started, um, they sent me the product. I started taking it. And I remember with the first three or four days, my, from my knees down, I was fairly numb. It's called neuropathy from, from a lot of chemotherapy. People experience that. And I remember all of a sudden my feet starting to really tingle and thinking, oh no, this is bad. And then I got to thinking, wait a minute, I couldn't even feel my feet before. So that's a good thing if I'm feeling my feet tingle. And then I don't know, I just, you know, within a few weeks, I just started feeling so much better. And um, again, my husband, who had been so worried, he came to me one day and he goes, I don't know what that is, but keep taking it because I can see the difference. Nancy, you're muted. I know. I had to figure out how to unmute again. I'm telling you, you don't have to be a great technologist to do this. You can figure it out eventually. Um, but the biggest thing is when I had that melanoma, they really at that point told me, you know what, I don't know what to tell you, but this is not good. So I was going to the top hematology oncologist here in Phoenix. And I had to go in every six or eight weeks to get my blood checked because they were so worried I was going to go into leukemia that my sister had passed away from. And so I went in. And I'd been on the product for, you know, maybe six or eight weeks. I had started it right after my last visit. And when I went in, the first thing they did was they said, well, you're going to have to go get your blood work done again because uh, the lab messed up. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, the lab messed up. This, this is not your blood. And I'm like, okay. So then I had to go give a whole bunch more blood, which is just what I felt like doing. And when the doctor came in after the second set of blood came in he came in with his laptop and of course I'm in like a paper towel you know sitting on the table because he's checking me all over the place he sits on the exam table with me with his laptop and I'm like this is a little uncomfortable <laughs> but I will tell you he had to show me the blood work and he said you have to explain this to me I cannot You've had cancer titers through the roof. Your blood, you have never had normal white blood cell counts. You've never had normal blood work. And look at your levels. And he goes, and look at you. He goes, I feel like I'm looking at you alive again. Now, this is the top hematology oncologist in Arizona. Okay. And the guy, he, he just couldn't believe it. And so when he pointed it out. The thing he pointed out the most was my rheumatoid factor. That's a measurement they use when you have rheumatoid arthritis. They look to see how bad your rheumatoid arthritis is. And basically it's an inflammatory marker. Well, those of you that have heard more about our NRF2 products know it's the master regulator of the inflammatory process in every cell, right? That's why I thought it's worth a try. Well, guess what? My rheumatoid factors were diminishing. My inflammation was going down, okay? My cancer titers were unbelievably better and my blood work looked actually pretty good. And so he's, he, like most of the doctors said, well, I don't really know or understand what that is, but don't stop taking it. Let's check you again in another six weeks. And when I went back in in the next six weeks, the blood had continued to improve. I was out of the wheelchair. I was walking around. I was feeling well. I had called the company because I had lots of questions. And at that point in time, what I didn't know was that my awesome doctor's wife had rheumatoid arthritis severe. And so his next question is, will you help me to help her with this? And you all know how difficult it is with um, formerly educated physicians, much less one from Harvard, right? This guy was one of the top people in his field, but he cared about his wife and he saw what was happening. And we can never say we treat, mitigate, prevent, or cure. I will never say any of those things, but I can tell you that I turned 70 a couple weeks ago. And I can tell you that I'm living my life today and I'm feeling so good. And 
I be careful what you wish for. As these things happened, of course, I couldn't be quiet. Then I knew I had a moral obligation, really moral obligation to be able to share this with so many other people that I knew were struggling with lots of different things. And so as time continued, um, and I kept asking the, the company questions, the biggest questions I had for them were, the reason that pharmaceutical products have taken over is that pharmaceuticals, because they're chemicals, they can be reproduced over and over and over and expect the same result. When they do their studies, guess what? They can expect that same result because that, that way that pill is made is the same over and over. But when you take uh, nutrients and you're getting those nutrients from the mountains of the Himalayas and down in South America and all the different places we get our active ingredients, I wanted to know how is this company taking a product that had five ingredients and being able to blend it and make it the same every single time so that the FDA allowed them to make a claim that they reduced this inflammation by 40% in 30 days, when in fact, that's what did happen to me. And so what I love the most was that they had such good answers. The way that our pharmaceuticals are produced is by taking chemicals and repeating it over and over. But what ended up happening in, in the case of the nutrients, we have such high quality controls. We send the raw ingredients to be checked and ascertained for the components we're looking for in every ingredient. When I saw that information, I had hope that my body was going to get better and it did. And it has continued to. I'm 70 years old now. I'm on oh no God. prescriptions. I'm on no prescriptions. That's unbelievable, right? I can tell you as a pharmacist, it's unheard of. I know because I've taken care of all the people. Um, but more importantly, I saw other things in my family. My granddaughter, when my daughter was pregnant, my turned out she had a few of my wacko genes. And while my daughter was pregnant, they found out that my granddaughter's kidneys had a massive problem. And the massive problem had to do with the tube that connects the kidney to, to, to the bladder. And what was happening is it was not big enough. And so her kidneys were getting bigger and bigger because they weren't emptying. And this is during uh, my daughter's pregnancy. So they told her that when the baby was born, they were gonna be removing both of her kidneys. And they were hoping to keep the baby alive until that point. Well, my daughter's a doctor of veterinary medicine, okay? I'm her mom. How many of us don't listen to our moms? <laughs> Most of us, right? So she didn't want to hear it. But I went to her doctor appointment with her, showed the doctor, and he researched it. And he said, I think it's okay if you take this during your pregnancy. So she did. In a very few short weeks, one of the kidneys of my granddaughter returned to normal, okay? The other one was still struggling. And on the day she was born, they had expected that they'd be taking out that kidney. But guess what? I'm pretty stubborn and it does help to have some letters behind your name. I went into the chief pharmacologist at the hospital. I showed him what we had and I asked him if we could crush it and put it in my daughter's breast milk. And we did. And guess what? My granddaughter is eight years old and has both her kidneys. Now, again, we can't ever say we can treat, mitigate, prevent, or cure anything. But what this does do is enables your own body to restore balance. That's what's happened to me. That's why my blood work changed because my own body turned back on its abilities. That's what happened with my granddaughter. And I'm so grateful. I'm so very grateful. Will she ever have kidney problems? I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you so far, she's doing incredible. I can tell you that my daughter utilizes these products. <laughs> I can also tell you that we make sure that all of our little pets, yes, even my little Tito, <laughs> um, get our pet tandem because after that, what she saw when we came out with an animal product was that animals have problems with inflammation too. And so guess what? We've seen stories from horses 
I mean, some of you that know, I go to Derby every year. I can't tell you how many horses we've been able to help. There's other people that are with the company that help deal with those horses. And um, I know Bonnie and Kim Heath have been very active in the horse arena. Um, but the bottom line is inflammation is a cellular issue. Our body's intended to have a little inflammation that go down on and off as the repair of our body. It's when it's out of control. And my body was so out of control for so long. And today, I, you know, you can see my hands. These are not rheumatoid arthritis hands. Do I have a little bit of problem with them now and then when the weather changes? Yes, but I'll take it. I'll take it all day. And again, it's my own body activating. And now some of you recently may have heard, um, you know, you have to be careful what you wish for. Remember I went to the company and asked all those questions. Well, the next thing you know, I'm on the science board. <laughs> the good news is I get to see a lot of things first. I also get to try a lot of things first. Um, so now I've turned into the lab rat, I guess. But um, they understood my passion for other nutrients as well. That's why we have our AM, PM, D3. Because forever I had developed a product that was for bone uh, restoration and health with another company a long time ago. And they wanted to see if we could do a, a product similar to that. And we we not only did one similar, we enhanced it and made it better because now those are the minerals and the things that everybody needs every day. And those are the reasons why a lot of the times our gut goes into problems is we don't have some of the magnesium and the zinc and some of the other minor elements. And as a result, our whole digestive tract gets off whack. Well, fast forward today, we are getting ready and getting ready to launch in October, a brand new system that I have to be careful what I say. I have to sign NDAs, non-disclosures when you're on science boards, but our GLP-1 products that are coming are gonna have an immense, immense um, effect. We have 55 people from the company that are currently on it. I'm one of them. And people are like, what the heck are you on that for? And you know why? If anybody, takes, if anybody takes a look at those products, they were first developed for diabetes. Our GLP-1 in our gut is the hormone that dictates how we utilize carbohydrates and how it breaks down and what it does with it. And when our body stops breaking things down properly, it doesn't want to let go of it. It takes the carbs and puts them around our waist and stores it as fat thinking it might need it. But when the GLP-1 system functions again, guess what? All of the chemistry starts to rebalance again. That's my background, remember? Molecular biochemistry. And I've been so blessed by God to be put into a position and into a place where I have an impact for that. And I will tell you, I, I couldn't be more excited because while the products out there, remember I told you I worked for Lilly. I went to work for them because they were the diabetes company. That's why I went there. And guess what? Today, they have a product called Moran Juvenile. That's a GLP-1 product, but it's a chemical injecting into you. Imagine the difference of doing that and having some side effects, or would it make sense if, take for instance, an example of insulin. Do you think your body's doing better getting an injection of insulin or when it makes its own insulin? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about our products, our activators. They turn back on the body's ability to make things that it needs to make properly again, which is why my rheumatoid factor started balancing itself out. My body was balancing itself out because I was giving it nutrients that it needed to make all those things happen. And so I, I hope um, that it wasn't too much chemistry and I hope it wasn't too much information, but we I'm not sure what happened to Nancy. Hang on, I think she lost connection.
She'll be back. I'm getting, these comments are cracking me up. Hopefully our phone didn't die. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My electricity all went out. <laughs> well, at least okay. I got all the way through it. I'm so sorry. We had a great big storm just come through and the power just totally went out. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, I, I hope that was a proper ending. <laughs> out like a flash. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Oh. Well, thank you, Nancy. That was actually comical. I got a crack. I got cracked up on, uh, over the comments coming in. Um, but I, you have a very powerful story. And I just want you to know how much everyone in our company loves and appreciates everything that you do. I know what you do. For me, for us, it doesn't go unseen. Um, I know sometimes it probably does feel like a lot, but... We definitely appreciate you. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and we can open up for questions.